So welcome to Techno Dad Life, where we build, learn, and create as a community. And on today's episode, we're going to be installing NetData, which is a beautiful graphing program, which will show us exactly what's going on on our server. And I'll show you a little bit right now. I thought you would like that. And so if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified of what's going on. And if you like this video, make sure you like it. And today's question of the day, why do you want to use net data? And here we go now. Okay, so let's install net data. So first we're going to go up to the top right here. We're going to type in net data. And we're going to Click on the top one, tit Patrick net data, and then we're going to click the I. I'm going to scroll down to the usage, and next we're going to click start. Once that's done, we'll click close, and so then we're going to click on net data and run image. So container name is net data. Restart policy as always. We're going to leave it in bridge mode. Bridge mode. We're going to type in 1999. Hit the plus sign. We're going to scroll down to container path. Hit the slash and we're just going to copy that. Paste that over there. Hit the plus sign. Next we're going to copy from the Docker page some more container paths. So the first is host proc. Copy that. So next we're going to click on the host path, click on proc, and then click OK. And then we're going to make that read only, hit the plus sign. Next we're going to copy host syst. And then we're going to go to host path, scroll down to sys, click OK. We're going to make that read only, then hit the plus sign. Next we're going to copy the dash d space dash dash cap add sysprac trace. Then paste that into your extra arguments and then click save and then we're going to wait a minute for this to start up. Next we're going to copy our IP address and we're going to paste that. Then put colon 19999 and then hit enter. And so that brings up the net data dashboard. And so basically you can look in minute detail what's going on on your server. So here it has the CPU usage, in and out, uh, networking, RAM usage, disk usage, swap usage. And then to get more fine grained uh, details of those. You go over to the side area where they have some system overviews and then uh, more fine grained uh, references there. So if we type on CPU, we can get the CPU there or down below we have the more grain, fine grained interest in that. So if we go back up to memory, actually if we go back up to system overview, uh, we can see the load, disk usage, RAM, swap, networking, uh, and the processes. So which processes are doing what? So if we go down here to applications, we can actually see uh, what applications are using what uh, information right now. And you can see net data is the main thing that's running right now. Net data, so this is a nice simple docker that gives you an almost infinite amount of information about your server. If you like this video, make sure you like it and subscribe if you haven't already to be updated on upcoming videos. And as always, have a great day. Bye-bye.